Times 8:53 a.m. The news headline: Government should treat headsmen the way it treats business men in Onicha. Alaba, Senator Adam. News in full. Senator representing Nasarawa West, Senatorial District, and former Governor of Nasarawa State, Abdullahi Adamu, said government owes it a duty to treat headsmen the other citizens were being treated. He spoke at a media palais with Senate Press Corps in Abuja on Monday, saying that the Ula Balu about elders in Nigeria were necessarily given, that they are also Nigerians and should be treated and protected by government at various levels. He lamented that elders, because of their calling, don't enjoy infrastructure like good road, electricity, pipe bond water, etc. Yet their rights were being stampeded. According to him, government should make funds available to headsmen pursuing their legitimate business the same way businessmen across the country have access to funds from the national treasury. He said this government has a duty like the way it's treating businessmen in Alaba, Onicha, Kano, and Port Harcourt to treat headsmen too because they are Nigerians. These provisions are public funds. They are not from the private fund or any other governor or senator. The funds are from the treasury of this country and every Nigerian has a stake in that treasury. So the government has a duty to find a way without to make it possible for earthmen not to go astray in the course of pursuing its legitimate duty. So the government has a duty to find a way without to make it possible for earthmen not to go astray in the course of pursuing its legitimate duty. Abdullahi, who is the Senate Committee Chairman on Agriculture and Rural Development, expressed disappointment at how governors are legislating on anti-open grazing law, seeing that the right to movement of elders were being inhibited. While reacting to questions on national issues, he added, when I read the meeting of Southern governors and the issue of open grazing and how they kicked against it, and threatening to make law against it, I replied them in a manner that you record. I believe, as governors, as members of the executive operating in the different tier of the government, they have a constitutional responsibility, the constitution upon which they can take, uh, which they actually take and hold of office. One of the fundamental rights there is every Nigerian, no exception. Every Nigerian has a right of free movement. Every Nigerian has a right to pursue a legitimate business. Right of association is enshrined in the constitution. You cannot, under any pretense, take away this right. I don't know, under any condition, which government can say, yes, we can take away this right. When they came up with this, I was wondering, first and foremost, a week earlier, before the meeting the governors had here in Abuja, and there was no such announcement like that, I was taken aback when I read about their meeting in Asaba. Responding to questions that anti-grazing law was gaining traction in the north, he said, I still stand by that. The fact that one or two governors in the north have said something like that does not take away the right of earthmen. The question here is nature has closed the vacuum. You can't build and you can't build something or nothing. The duty to protect earthmen and farmers rests squarely on the national government, state government and the local government administration. The question here is has the government done what it is supposed to do to protect Nigerians who are in that calling, in that profession and in that trade? The answer is no, and you cannot blame the person who is desperately looking for means of livelihood. However, this does not excuse somebody who is pursuing his right from doing harm to somebody's right. I must be very clear on this. A farmer has right to farm. If a deer carry your cattle and damage his farm crops, he has right to make claims in the court of law. That's the law as I understand it. So, it doesn't matter if the old northern governors make the same pronouncements that the southern governors did. That doesn't shake my fundamental position on this. Government owes headsmen a duty to protect their calling. And I dare repeat that if you go to Wuse Market here, you will see how many infrastructure have been provided by the Federal Capital Territory and Abuja Municipal Area Council AMAC, like water and electricity. These are for Nigerians. These headsmen are also Nigerians. And um, this is Senator Adam talking, uh, you know, representing the Nasarawa West 
senatorial district and he was one time governor of Nasarawa state and then um, you know Abdullah Adamu is talking about the ways the government are uh, being uh, treating the headsmen and uh, the other citizens saying that um, the government owes uh, the headsmen to treat them just like uh, they treat other citizens of the country because they are also Nigerians. Uh, he spoke at the media palais with the Senate press corps in Abuja on a Monday saying that um, this chaos about the Fulani headsmen and the uh, on Nigerians uh, that it was actually unnecessary given uh, that they are also Nigerians like and that it should be protected just by uh, the pro the government of the state and the country just like they protect other citizens of the country and he was lamenting that elders because of their calling don't enjoy infrastructure like good roads electricity pipe bones and um, other rights like that of theirs who have been stampeded he said that government should make funds available to the headsmen pursuing their legitimate businesses and the same way businessmen across the country have access to funds from national treasury he said that um, the government the way the government is treating you know businessmen in alaba on the chakano that they are also supposed to treat the headsmen just like that because the provisions are public fund and that it is not a private fund of any governor or senator saying that the funds are for the treasury of the country and every nigerian including the headsmen who are also nigerians has a stake in that treasury so the government has a duty to find uh, a way to make it possible for headsmen not to go astray in the uh, course of pursuing their legitimate uh, duty abdullahi uh, actually expressed disappointment at how governors are legislating anti open grazing law, saying that the rights to movement of elders were being inhibited, which is uh, stampeding their constitutional right as a citizen because, you know, they have uh, freedom to movement and then for every place they step on that they were not supposed to step on, just like, you know, plying another farmer's land and uh, destroying their crops, that just like... Uh, uh, they have the right to movement, but they have, you know, stampeded on another person's rights. Then the farmer of which they actually, you know, spoils his farm or destroys some of his farm products has the right as well to sue um, any of the offender that did that, you know. And this is just, you know, a legal words if one will look at it because how many farmers has the, uh, you know, the stress and the, um, um, all, uh, the, you know, the, the strength to start pursuing legal duties against a headsman that is even moving around that one does not know where they actually stay, you know, to go and serve them later, all those stuff like that. So, uh, at the same time, you know, he says that he believes that governors and members of the executive operating a type of government have a constitutional responsibility and the constitution upon which they take an oath of office, you know, should be adhered to. He said that um, regardless of the position of the southern governors uh, who are doing this anti grazing law at the same time other non governors that are doing the same that that does not disturb him or stop him or shake him as well to make his fundamental uh position that it is wrong for this headsman to be treated in this way the time is 9 27 a.m good morning thanks for listening